hardware wallets. Most famous uh, hardware uh, wallets are Ledger, Treasure. They are most secure wallets for uh, especially for long term holdings. Uh, the first wallet that uh, we are going to discuss is the hardware wallet, uh, which is Ledger wallets. It is one of the best hardware wallets. Uh, let's go to their websites and uh, see. Wallet, so yeah, Ledger hardware wallet. Let me open another one as well. We have the treasure. Okay, uh, this is the uh, Ledger hardware uh, wallet, the official website. And one thing that I want to mention when you want to purchase a hardware wallet, just make sure you purchase them from the official website not from ebay not from amazon not from any other online store or offline store it is uh, possible that the reseller just uh, got access to the uh, key uh, seed phrases of that specific wallet the private keys and when someone transferred coins cryptos to that specific wallet so then he or she can transfer all the funds to another wallet just make sure to purchase uh, the hardware wallet from the official website. I'll, I'll put the links in the description. This is the uh, Ledger hardware wallet. Uh, uh, the most famous uh, uh, Ledger wallet is the Nano X, and another one is the Nano S. So uh, the better one is the yeah the Nano X is the better one. And it also supports Ledger Life. Ledger Life is just an online platform. Once you buy the characters, Ledger Life, once you purchase the hardware wallet, then you can connect your wallet uh, to this uh, Ledger Life, and you can see your balance. You can just uh, control your balance uh, uh, this way. And uh, Ledger works with lots of uh, other platforms, including MetaMask. MetaMask is another wallet. We will discuss about that later. And uh, the prices for the Nano S is 59 US dollar and for the Nano X is 119 US dollar. Well, uh, I don't really recommend this uh, if you're a beginner, so you don't need to spend uh, this amount of money uh, to buy a hardware wallet. Just you can invest this money and buy more cryptos. Once you have a lot of cryptos and you want to keep them for the long term, in that case, uh, I do recommend to buy a hardware wallet and to transfer all your coins to a hardware wallet and keep them offline and uh, for as long as you want. And main coins, it has two uh, coins as well. It's not fully open source either. It's leisure one. And it's a little bit pricey, of course. So if you have a lot of coins, a lot of credit, so 119 US dollar or 59 is nothing. Uh, another one is the Treasure Wallet. It's another hardware wallet. It's also famous. Uh, uh, it is an affordable alternative to Nano X. So, yeah, it's a little bit cheaper. It's great mix of cost and security. And another, and another good point is that this is open source. The codes are available. And uh, uh, everyone can evaluate. It. it is easier to set up than Ledger. Treasure 1 is 78 US dollar and uh, another model, Treasure T, is 165. It's, uh, this is the Treasure T with the screen uh, and this is the Treasure 1 with uh, smaller screen. And it is close partner with uh, Exodus. As we explained, like uh, if you are using Exodus, later you can upgrade the security. You can purchase a, a Treasure wallet while you can take all the benefits of the online uh, interface you can transfer all your wallets to uh, all your coins uh, and assets to your uh, treasure wallet treasure wallets does integrate with central staking wallets like trust wallet as well and uh, it has some coins as well not supporting mobile and uh, doesn't support specific uh, coins like let's say ripple or us and uh, another thing is that the kraken found a way of cracking into this wallet well uh, uh, this is a complicated process uh, where uh, someone must have the skills and they must have access to the hardware wallet in order to crack this way so it's not really a big deal but uh, i just wanted to mention here 
uh, when you go to their website just you can purchase that from their official wallet uh, official website uh, just make sure you're not purchasing from any other website let's just scroll down and read more about the uh, the board models and uh, yeah just read them and you can uh, and there's a comparison between both 